Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Riley White, and I am extra. Thank you for ruining my intro. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Riley White, and listen, I learned today that I am no chocolatier. <laughs> so what I mean by that is I decided to be really extra this year. Every year our school does a Polar Express Day on the last week of school before Christmas break. And we all wear our pajamas and we watch the movie. And let me just tell you, if you don't dance around your classroom like a fool and hand out hot chocolate left and right when that fun like hot chocolate song is playing, you're doing something wrong. And so I have done this... Um, well, I usually bring in a crock pot of hot chocolate and just kind of keep it heated throughout the day until we watch the movie. I've seen teachers heat um, chocolate milk. I've seen people hand out little like cups of hot water or milk and then the little individual packets of hot chocolate. Like the possibilities are endless. But since I spend way more time on TikTok than I care to admit, I have noticed the trending like DIY this year is hot chocolate bombs. So that is exactly what I attempted today. Now remember, I'm just a girl trying to engage her class and make this time of year special for her students, okay? Like, people have done it way better than I just did, but I thought it would be fun to vlog it and share the idea in case any of you want to do it with your class, with your own children, if you want to do this to include as part of a gift to someone this holiday season. I mean, the possibilities are endless. But without further ado, let's get into my hot chocolate balm tutorial. So to make these, you will need chocolate. I got two kinds, so I could do one for the balm and one for the chocolate drizzle. I also got um, some mini marshmallows and cocoa to go in the bombs. I got these red sprinkles to sprinkle on top just to add some decoration. And last, I got cupcake liners and these little bags off to the side that I'm going to use to package them. The first thing you want to do is take your chocolate and pour it into a microwave safe bowl. I ended up using Hershey Special Dark instead just because I didn't care much for the candy melts I had bought. But I put it in the microwave and just stirred it every 15 or so seconds until it was melted. Then you're going to take your silicone mold and start putting your chocolate in the mold. You want to be careful because the bottom will get really thick. I actually did these guys a little too thick, but in another batch I was able to do a little bit thinner. Um, I personally would do the first ones and then I put it in the refrigerator and did a second coat just because I was nervous about them being too thin and I think I accidentally made them too thick instead. But um, be careful with the tops because the rim is going to be where you see a lot of the breakage if you have any, so just make sure you get a decent amount around the top. Once the chocolate has set, you can gently start separating the chocolate from the mold. Um, I kind of went around the rim a little bit and then I pushed up from the bottom and it worked okay. I had a little bit of breakage as you can see there, but not enough to alter the finished product at all. So here I am just getting all those out of the mold. Once everything is out of your molds, there are a few ways that you can melt the edges to give it a clean edge. I chose to just warm a small skillet up on the eye of the stove, and you just want it warm, not too hot, but you just want to melt the edges to make it nice and smooth so the two pieces will attach together. I've seen people warm a plate or um, use a blowtorch to get the bottom of a baking dish and then do it on that, but I just thought this would be easiest, so that's what I did. Once you have all the smooth edges, it's time to fill them. I did about a teaspoon of the hot cocoa mix and as many marshmallows as I could fit. Like I said, these did have a bit of a thick bottom and when I made more, I was able to do it a little bit thinner and I was able to fit up to seven marshmallows where here I only get about four. So just play around, see what you can make work and the more you do it, the better they'll get. them you just put it back on the warm skillet for a second and put the two pieces together and that melted chocolate will bind it shut. Then 
And you'll also notice when I do the second one, it kind of looks more ovular than spherical, but you know it's okay. Like I said, the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. And now that you have your little hot chocolate bombs, you can decorate however you want. I just melted some white chocolate and then put it in a Ziploc bag, cut the corner off, and drizzled it with the white chocolate and then topped it with some of the little red sprinkles. But you can do whatever you want. And just to package them up, I take a little cupcake liner and put the hot chocolate bomb in the middle of it. In hindsight, I probably should have got the smaller ones, but it's okay. And then I just put it in one of the little treat or gift bags that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I trimmed the top a little bit because it just towered over it. But take that, trim it if you need to, and then tie it with a twisty tie. And there is your complete little hot chocolate bomb. And it is ready for Polar Express Day at school or gifting however you may choose. And so you get the full effect. Here is some hot milk and I'm just going to put the hot chocolate bomb inside it. For the classroom, I will be taking my crock pot and putting a gallon or two of milk in the crock pot and heating it up that way. So that's just a little hack if you're a teacher like me. And all it needs now is a quick stir and there you have it, your hot chocolate made with hot chocolate bombs. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Come Santa Claus, here come Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Xing them, xing them, all his reindeers blowing.